A decision by the California Court of Appeals is reverberating through the music industry tonight. It involves a controversial rap song and a rape case, and it boils down to this. Can the lyrics of a song be considered a serious threat against somebody? News Channel 3's Tracy Lair has more on The People versus Anthony Ray Murillo. Tracy. CJ, the lyrics in question were dedicated to a convicted rapist a couple years ago when they were posted online. An ad issue is whether the lyrics are a criminal offense, too. Recording artists say the First Amendment should protect artists, including an orcut man accused of making felony threats in the form of lyrics he published. Oftentimes, lyrics are actually satirical, and people don't necessarily mean what they've written down uh, to be taken as literal. Um, oftentimes it can be used as sort of a shock factor. But the Constitution may not protect Anthony Ray Murillo and his Moment for Life remix. I said go and get the fame. The lyrics are dedicated to a friend convicted of unlawful sex with minors. You gonna be laying on the bed because I'm coming for your head. The original case that charged Maria with threatening to commit violence upon two rape victims was dismissed, but the district attorney plans to reinstate the case now that the appellate court reversed the decision. Joyce Dudley says threats have taken on new meaning since the criminal threat charge was created. She said, we believe this decision makes it clear that if you threaten a victim in any form of communication, you can be facing criminal charges. One of the girls who heard the song was afraid uh, for her safety and law enforcement was contacted and that's how we were involved. The victims known as Jane Doe 1 and 2 are now adults and support the prosecution. Definitely, definitely be keeping up on it. I uh, hadn't heard of it before today, but it definitely turns our attention. And Anthony Ray Murillo, who goes by Ray Murillo online, will have to appear in court again when arraignment date is set. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Tracy. Three people.